morning students in the last class we discussed the programs related to stack and stack with a push operation and pop operation today we'll discuss the program which is related to queues so the program already been typed so we'll discuss the queue queue is a linear data structure collection of ordered elements in which insertion and deletion takes place at different end insertion takes place at a rear end deletion takes place at front end if both the pointers are set to minus 1 then the queue is empty if the rear pointer is reaches to the maximum size then it is queue is full so as we discussed in the last program here also many header files are there ibostream.h for cin and cout konya.h for clr scr and getch but this program we are not using a getch then ibomanip.h here we are printing the content present in the queue that is the elements present in the queue and to display the space between one one uh, data element with another data element we are using a set w for that sake we are using here ibomanip header file for the support of that and one exit function we are using to terminate the while loop so that supported with the header file called std lib standard library header file for exit and here also queue size maximum here we are taken as a 3 is a maximum size and now we are defining the class for the queue so this is your class for the queue this queue class contains data member called here queue was implemented using array concept hence queue of max that is queue of 3 we created one array to create a queue data structure and queue contains front pointer rear pointer and count it is just to display the number of elements present in the queue and this code see here these two contains the same name when the constructor the, the class name and the function name if both are same then it is belongs to constructor and this is your default constructor a constructor without an argument it is just to initialize the values to the data members what are the data members we are using to initialize the value front rear and count so in the last program also we have used one default constructor with the name stack to initialize the top pointer to minus 1 here we have used both the pointers to minus 1 and just to clear the value present in the count we are used the zero then inserting an element into a queue is called n queue removing the element present in the queue is called as d queue operation a program is used to implement both n queue operation and d queue operation in the program number 13 we implemented only the push and the program number 14 we implemented the pop if you want to pop then the content has to be present hence we implemented both push and pop and this program it contains both the operations n queue and d queue here three functions are there one is for insertion one is for deletion see this is for insertion or inserting an element into the queue and this function is for removing the element from the queue called a deletion operation and the size gives the number of number of elements elements to count number of elements to display or number of elements to number of elements in the queue number of elements in the queue to know that we are using a function called size and here in queue so the algorithm we discussed already 
So the same algorithm we implemented here. This is called your step one. If the size, if the rare point reaches to the maximum size minus one, then we need to display the message card Q is full. And if the both the pointers are set to minus one and you are inserting a first element into the Q, then this if condition we are going to implement to insert the first element to the queue. Suppose if it is not a first element, then first increment the rate pointer by 1 and that particular rate position, you need to insert a new element into the queue. Okay. Once the element was inserted, just your count is used to increment. Count is used to increment to just to know the number of elements in the queue. Did you understood? First, we are going to check whether the queue is full or not. And if it is not a full, and first we need to check whether the queue, we are inserting a first element. If we are inserting a first element, then set both the pointers to 0 from the minus 1. Then, if it is not a first element, that means a queue contains already some elements that time, First increment the rare pointer by 1. Then only you need to insert an element into the queue at rare position. At rare position. This is your NQ algorithm. Then come to your DQ algorithm. First we need to check in the DQ whether the queue is empty or not. DQ means we are deleting the element from the queue. If the queue is empty, what we can remove? There is no possible to remove the element. So, first we need to check whether both the pointers are set to minus 1. If both the pointers are set to minus 1, then the queue is empty Q. Q is empty Q. If it is not, then remove the element which is present in the front. Remove the element which is present in the front. Here, int used to Int element we have not declared. So, element we have declared under a int. That's all. So, if you declared in the as a data member, you no need to initialize. Yeah, you no need to declare here. So, in the data member, we have not declared the variable called ELE. So, here it was declaration along with the removal it was there. That means the element present in the front pointer position of the queue we are going to remove. We are going to remove. And we are going to check the condition called whether both the pointers are in the same place. If both are in the same place, then set both the pointers to minus 1 because the queue already eliminated all the elements. Then set minus 1, make it Q is empty. If it is not both the pointers at one pointer, one location, then increment the front pointer. Increment the front pointer. When we are removing, your count is going to be decrement. If we are inserting, the size of the queue gets incremented. If you remove, the count of the size, that is the size of the queue gets decremented. So, this is about your DQ algorithm. Then come to your size. What is the size? Size is nothing but to know the number of elements present in the queue. If the elements present in the queue, then the front pointers gives you the first element of the queue and the rear pointer gives you the last element of the queue. Here, we are using a traversal concept. So, traversal Traversal begins always from the front pointer till the rear pointer. Till the rear pointer. When it is possible, if the Q count, that is a count is greater than 0, then only traversal is possible. If not, then there is no element, then Q is empty. So, traversal, each one it is going to be different. In the array, 
it is 0 to n minus 1. In the array concept, 0 to n minus 1 traversal. So, this will be same. Then, in the stack from the 0 to top pointer position. 0 to top pointer position. In the queue, it is from the front pointer to rear pointer. Front pointer gives you the first element. Rear pointer gives you the last element. Okay. Suppose if they ask the question, give the algorithm for traversal only these two lines. Only these two lines. Okay. Now, then your program execution always begins with the wide main. Here the main function implemented to perform the Q operations NQ and DQ implemented with the menu driven concept. Menu driven concept program. We can implement in many different way. One, we can implement with the direct method as well as menu driven method. If it is a direct method, input will be given directly without accepting the value. But here the program is implemented with the menu driven concept with the input. So when we are giving the input based on that, the operation is going to be performed. So as we discussed in the last class, the same concept we implemented here also in the main program. But here object is created with a name called Q. Q is a object name. Capital Q is a Q data structure name. It is an object name. You can take OBJ also. Then choice and element we are giving. While of 1 as we discussed in the last class. 1 means it is a true. Logical value of 1 means true statement. If the while is true, the while block gets executed repeatedly until you press. So, this is the while code. Until you press the choice 4. Once you press the choice 4, there is a function called exit. It is going to terminate the complete program. Okay. So, here menu contains four options. First one is a, it is a NQ. Second option DQ. Third option to print the content. The element present in the queue. Fourth one to exit. Other than these choice, if you press any character or any number, you are going to get as an invalid choice. That we implemented with the switch concept. So, here we are accepting the choice. According to that user, so here we are going to perform the operation based on that. If the choice is 1, then we are going to perform the inserting operation. Inserting means NQ operation. So, accept the element and invoke the function along with an argument. Invoke a function along with the argument. This argument contains inserting new element. Okay, then if your choice is to, we are doing a DQ operation. When we are doing a DQ operation, rare uh, front pointer element get tick, uh, eliminated. Front pointer element gets removed or deleted. Then here, the front uh, rare pointer, we are going at the rare pointer position, we are inserting a new element. Then size, it is used to Know the number of elements present in the queue with the concept called index starts with front pointer to till rear pointer. Okay. So, if your choice is 4, then only program is going to be terminate. Otherwise, until that it is going to be repeatedly executed. Repeatedly executed. And... If you press other than 1, 2, 3, 4, it is going to be displayed as an invalid choice. Okay. So, this is about your program. We will execute now. Yes, there is no any errors and warnings. If the program typed properly, you are not going to get any errors. So, first I am pressing a choice to DQ. Q is empty. Q is empty. Then I can perform the insertion operation. I'll give 35. 35 inserted into Q. Then we'll see whether it is being inserted or not with the choice 3. 
q contains 35 okay again press 1 so insert a another element 56 so which we inserted first 35 we inserted first so again one more one choice one so i am entering a value called 67 see here we inserted three elements let's we see how many elements are there your q contains 35 56 67 your front pointer will be pointing 35 your rear pointer is pointing 67 if i select the option called 2 which element will remove s from the front pointer position it is going to be removed 35 removed from the q why it is removed from the q that is a element first inserted which what is the principle of your q first in first out principle which is the first inserted element 35 is the inserted element then 35 is first removed element first removed element did you understood the logic of the program until you press the choice for it is going to be repeatedly executed because of while of one okay then your program is going to be terminated okay so this finishes your q program then we left out with only last program program number 16 once we get the complete blueprint of uh, this academic year by seeing that we will continue the concept of linked list lab program if it is included then we will teach otherwise we will move we will give the concentration for which we have included for the lab program ok students we will meet in the next class with the linked list thank you program will be discussed later theory part will finish it up ok thank you and those who are writing a records please don't tear the papers and don't overwrite and your handwriting should match and uh, don't give your records to write for somebody else if we found any of those fraud cases definitely the records are not valid for practical exam and the second record we are not going to provide you thank you students